Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners, and in this video we'll look at how to lay out our CSS Flexbox items vertically rather than horizontally. For this example, I've created a simple flex container that's 1000 pixels wide by 700 pixels high. Inside it, I've created three child flex items. By default, a parent flex container has its flex direction set to row. This means that our child flex items are initially laid out side by side along a single row. The child flex items will stretch to fill the height of the parent container, but will only be as wide as the content that they contain. In this example, we can see that each of my flex items is as wide as the individual word it contains. The easiest way to stack our flex items vertically, one on top of the other, is by changing the flex direction property on the parent flex container to column. So in my HTML here, my parent flex container is a div with the class of container, so in my CSS I'll target my container class and set its flex direction property to a value of column. As we can see, our layout has now changed to a single column instead of a single row, so our flex items are now stacked vertically one on top of the other. If you wanted to make these flex items expand to fill the full height of the container, you'd simply need to give each item a flex value of one. So here, again in my HTML, each of my individual flex items has the class of flex item. So here in my CSS, we'll target that class and we'll give it a flex value of one. This is shorthand for the flex grow property and a value of one makes each item increase in size or grow by equal amounts along the main axis. Although changing the flex direction to column is the standard and easiest way to stack our flex items vertically, there is another way to achieve the same result. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you use this method, but it is a good way to demonstrate some other basic Flexbox principles. For this method, let's begin by removing the flex direction column value from the parent container so that we return to the default row direction. With the flex property still set to 1 on each of our flex items, each item expands to an equal width to fill the container. If we change this value to 100% instead of 1, we're giving each item a flex basis value of 100%, which instructs the browser to make each item 100% of the width of its parent container. However, if we look in the browser, we'll see that nothing has changed. This is because the parent flex container's flex wrap value is set to no wrap by default. This means that our flex items are not allowed to wrap down onto new rows below and are forced to exist along a single row. Because of this, they cannot expand to the full 100% width. To fix this, let's give our parent flex container a flex wrap value of wrap. As we can see, each of our flex items is now 100% wide or full width and each wraps down onto its own new row, effectively creating a vertically stacked layout. I think that just about covers the basics of creating a vertical layout with CSS Flexbox. The quickest and easiest method is to change the flex direction to column on the parent flex container. Alternatively, you can give each flex item a flex basis value of 100% and set flex wrap to wrap on the parent container. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.